All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. In the last episode, we finished off the boss and the other stages in World 3, Bright Savannah. In this episode, we're going to be taking on its case stage, Precarious Pendulums. So let's head on in. And like I said in the last episode, when I finally got my aha moment, I believe this is one state, this is actually one of my more favorite on case stages. And if I also remember correctly, we're going to get a partner barrel for um, this one. Yep, okay. Um, I think this is going to be a ditty day. Okay, so as you can see here, there's electricity underneath here. So what you want to do is not stand on it for too long, because eventually the platform is going to sink, and it will connect with the electricity and shock you. And then you also see these rotating, um, I guess, pillars of electricity? I don't know what to call them exactly. Oh my god. If I didn't jump up a second time, I would have stayed on just fine. But I'm not too nerve-wracked by it. Honestly, I was, like, so nervous for Bopopolis because it was so difficult on my test playthrough to, um, get it right. But to be fair, that test playthrough was me um, playing, really breaking off the Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze Rust. Because it had been a while since I played the game. So I kind of chalk it up a bit to that, but still. There we go. Oh, uh, you want to duck here. Jump over here. And now I believe this face will have our puzzle piece after we collect all the bananas. And it's good! Okay, let's see here. Okay, yeah, I remember this one. So as you can see, if you look above Donkey Kong's head, you'll see that there is a trail of bananas to the left. So you're gonna wanna... Shoot that way. That's the one annoying part about that little section, is you have to be, like, pretty pin-perfect on, or else you're gonna get fired at an angle, and obviously the level can't accommodate for that. Puzzle piece is already collected there. You know, I like the setting for the case stages, but I would I part I kinda wish that they did try to do something else besides these caves. Or I guess temple settings, because you know it's pretty much like the same temple all over again for each case stage. I guess spoilers, but yeah. I mean, obviously, they have their own visual flares, you know, being obviously being designed differently, but it would have been interesting to see if, what it would be like if they tried to, you know, use some different, use some significantly different assets. Okay, so as you can see here, there's that puzzle piece. There we go. Um, that one right there, that pole right there, it would slide, those slide too low, you would have gotten hit. Okay, I believe we have another puzzle piece coming up. Yep, right there. So yeah, I want to time it just right where this platform I'm standing on right now is at the peak of its height. Jump up to get the puzzle piece. And there we go. Okay. Get yourself comfortable on the owl's head. And I think we got puzzle piece number four right there. I actually can't remember. My mind kind of goes for me when, when I'm in these case stages. Okay, yep, yeah, right here. Puzzle piece number five. Oh, yep. Yeah. It was that close when my test playthrough as well. Though I can see there probably being one section where you may would like to have Cranky because you could bounce up on the spikes of that platform because it was facing down to you. But overall, I really never use it. 
Oh my god! I never used Cranky for um, the K stages because um, he would only basically be here to give me extra health. Which I mean, obviously has its uses, but I mean, I kind of much rather if I need if I had to have some well not have to have someone but like, oh gosh, hesitate right there. I know I need to do that. Um, but if I need to have someone, I much rather um have someone who can be a bit more of a um flying asset to me. But luckily, I already have all the puzzle pieces, so there's no worries right there. Actually, I'm looking forward to seeing how short this video will be, because, um... You know, the first case stage, we did in, like... I think both case stages, actually, we finished in, um, less than six minutes. Despite the fact that, um, I died in both of them. Like, um, more in Bopopolis, but still. Try to get that heart. Ugh. Right on the tip. Oh gosh. God. You see, that's what I mean. You get annoyingly not launched at an angle. It makes me wish that those were um automatic, because you know there's not really much of a reason for them to be manual fire. You know, they just manual fire just so you can have an opportunity to mess up. there. Okay, so what I actually wanted to do- Oh my gosh. And then my jump didn't come out. So what I wanted to do was go back to that other platform that I was just standing on, so that way I could jump- Then I get to jump back, and uh, it'll make sense what I actually do it. Just the level doesn't want to cooperate with me.
actually, I wouldn't mind having, like, I guess some Donkey Kong lore, like how the K-State just came into existence. Like, was it some, like, Ancestor Kong who, like, set these up for, like, the Kong descendants or something? These are the things you think about when you're in a cage stage. Okay, let's do this again, shall we? Oh my god. Can't even see my clock right now, but I know I'm recording pretty late at night, actually. And now this thing is at a preferable place, there we go. And we just need to make this last jump and we effectively won the level. Don't even need to hold anything. There we go. Oh yeah, it's like 11 at night for me. But that is the case stage. Oh wow, this actually took me more in the order of 12 minutes. <laughs> and well, at least I got all the puzzle pieces in one run, so I actually don't mind that much. But all right, that that is the case stage. Oh my god, this that is the case stage for Bright Savannah. After this, we're going to be doing the compilation of the puzzle pieces I missed. Luckily, only two this time. But, in the next episode, we are going to be heading off to the next island, Sea Breeze Cove. See you guys, then. <laughs>